right, y'all. I'm back. And as you can see, I got everything broke down off of the engine itself, except for the flywheel and the clutch, which you don't have to remove to change the head and the piston out. So let's just jump straight into it. First thing that I got to do is remove the head. And the head is held on by four bolts right there, right here, under there, and over there. And a T27, um, I'm using a drill to remove them. And the magnet will catch some of these, so be prepared for that. So, like you see right there, magnet got a hold of that one. It's no big deal though, we just get our needle nose and get that bolt out of there. And it's got one underneath the bottom of here too as well. So, let's get our needle nose, pull that out. Set these bolts to the side and now, we can remove our head. This is the exhaust side right here, and this is the intake side. Y'all can tell on this FS80s, the spark plug is always facing the intake side on the FS80s. So now we're just gonna remove our head off of this unit. I'll just all I gotta do is pull it straight up. Pull it straight up, it's kind of caught on the ring, but it's okay. And uh, got it out of there. It's the inside of it. I don't really see anything too much in there. I know I can't get it on camera. It doesn't feel too bad. Pistons kind of burnt a little bit. And things definitely getting hot. Take off the the piston itself, and it's held on. There's some sir clips in there. It's usually just on one side, but it's a sir clip right in here. When I remove it, you'll see what I'm talking about. There you go. You kind of can see it a little bit, but not too well. So I'm just gonna remove those. All right, I just got the sir clip removed. It jumped out on its own, <laughs> but I got it removed. So now I just got to remove this pin on the inside that the um, piston rotates on. I got to remove it. So you see I got my stabilizer right here. So I may have to get something in here to hammer this out. Sometimes it comes out on its own pretty smooth, but um. We'll see. This pin is out. So now we can take our piston off. And there it is. Ooh, this thing got hot. Yeah, one of the main things, you just want to note the orientation just in case, because I had some of the replacement pistons not have an arrow pointed to the exhaust side. So I just want to make sure that this side is the exhaust side. So I'll take it off and just set it down. And uh, that way it's facing the exhaust side exactly as it sits. That way I won't, it won't be any confusion. So let's remove our keeper here. And just look at this bad boy. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. I might clean it up a little bit. This connecting rod. I 
doubt that it came with a new one of these, but we uh want to lube it up and reuse it. All right, now let's take a look at our brand new cylinder and piston from Yamazon. Yep, yep, let's see yep. what we got. Fresh out the gate, we got an air filter, spark plug, and a fuel filter. All right, put that to the side. Let's pull out our piston. Okay. Got a new head gasket. Put that to the side. And start the show. Brand new piss, a uh, brand new head and piston. Let's get this plastic off. Inside, we got our accessories, our rings. Got our rings here. Got a pin here. Piston and our clips are inside of here. My sir clips here. A little different than the factory ones, but these are a lot better for install. And here's our piston, and it doesn't have an arrow pointing to the exhaust. I don't know why a lot of these don't have it. They got a blue dot right here, but um, and it's. Technically, it's pointed toward the it's pointed toward the exhaust side, but I've had them where the, the blue dot has been in the center and not be right, but this one is right, so I wouldn't go by it. I would just go by looking at the old piston. That's the best way to do it. And you can see how they match up. Everything's in the same place, so that's a safe that's a safer bet. All right, I want to show y'all the difference between the Yamazon piston and the OEM piston. You see where the piston rings connect at? On the OEM piston, the, I don't know what you want to call it, the dot is on the bottom. And on this one, the dot is on the top. Basically, that changes how the orientation of the piston ring so you can't just look at this one and say, okay, the piston rings are gonna go on to look just like that. Nope. Basically, the aftermarket piston rings are gonna be upside down if you're looking at the OEM one. So just keep that in mind. And I'll show you once I get the piston rings on the Yamazon one, um, I'll show you again. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the piston rings, let's put the piston rings on. You know what we gotta do? We gotta lube everything up. This thing gets no love if it doesn't have lube. No love. So what we're gonna use to lube it up? We're just gonna use some two cycle oil. That way we'll know for sure we're getting the right everything in here. All right, so what we're gonna do, it's gonna lube up everything. So we're gonna take these rings and we're gonna lube them up. So, get your hands in there. Boom, boom. Can't put too much, be pretty liberal with it. And we're gonna put our rings on. I'm not using any gloves, it'll be okay. All right. I put some. I put it all on the piston and everywhere. I seen somebody say if it doesn't smoke for five minutes when you first crank it up after replacing the piston and head, you didn't put enough oil. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but 
You definitely put a good amount on here. Ring on here. You know, some people put theirs coming from the bottom side on the on the first ring on the second ring. Like coming underneath like this. I don't I did that. I ain't really care for it. So I'm just gonna put it on the way I like to put it on. You gotta be careful, these things are brittle. So There it is. Now it's on here. You ain't see where the pistons connect that right there? You gotta hug that little dot right there. Boom. It's on there. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing with our other ring. Other ring. I'm gonna lube it up too. All nice and lubricated. We're gonna find our dot on the other side here. That's on there. And it's hugging. Boom. That's a done deal. All right. Now, we're going to get ready to lube up our uh, cylinder, inside of our cylinder. Same rules apply. Lube it up good. No love without lube. Let's get it. All right. So, we got that lubed up. We're going to set that to the side. All right. Now, this step right here is really important. Don't forget to put your head gasket on. Don't forget to do it. It is super important because I've done it. <laughs> and next we'll have to put, we have to put this in here and all of that. Then we're gonna put our piston on. If you forget, then we're gonna put our cylinder head on. If we forget, <laughs> to put the gasket on, what it means we gotta take this all apart and yeah, nobody wants to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna put that cylinder, uh, put that head gasket on, set it to the side. And next we gotta get ready to put our pin through the piston. Piston here. It doesn't matter which side we put it in right put it in right now. It don't matter because we gotta put sir clips on both sides. So it don't really matter. So it doesn't really matter. I still got some oil on my finger, so it's lubing it up. So So now we gotta get our sir clips. And we got I'm gonna show you the best. Well, it's not really a best way to do it. <laughs> Cause Basically, these things have a mind of their own sometimes. And, uh, and I'm just gonna show you how I like to do it. Then again, so my channel is, this is how I do it. it. May not work for you, but to me, this is the best way to do it. So I have them on my little pliers here. So I got it in my pliers. And it's my piston head right here. And um, what I like to do is a little indention. There it is. It's a little indention right here that you can slide that um, pin through. And then it's just a little bit of a, and you can't see it on camera. It's really hard to show. But if you can see, I got a good right there. And it has a little slide where the um, circlip can go. So I'm gonna do that. It's really no way to really do it on camera, but I can try. Boom. Hear it snap in like that. 
I mean, I got it in here. Yup. I got it in exactly how I did, how it's supposed to. All right, so, but the job isn't done yet. The job isn't done yet because now I got to put it on the connecting rod here. So, give me some a little bit more loop. And we're going to loop. We're going to loop this up. little bit of lube in there. I'll put a little bit of lube on the connecting rod itself. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's a little bit. And just to rotate that around, it'll be all right. And uh, now we gotta put our piston on. So we just put our piston on. Wow, this is really hard to show on camera. We're gonna put it over our connecting rod, like so. Then we gotta push our pin through the connecting rod on the side where we don't have the circ clip bit. And boom. Turn that around. And make sure, remember like I said, in this case, the blue dot is indicating, um, it's pointing toward the exhaust side where it needs to be. But that's not a guarantee. Remember what I said about lining it up with the old piston. All right, so. That's cool. Now, we got to get our other sir clip and line it up. Boom, just like that. Now, we got to get our other sir clip. Get our other clip is right here and all we got to do just like the other one find that little in indention put our circ clip in it's kind of hard to do it on camera that's that's one of the reasons why it's a little difficult sometimes now, whenever you're recording something you're basically doing everything three or four times <laughs> Boom, that one snapped in there just right. All right, now. Now we have that in there just right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our rings, we're gonna make sure our rings are lined up. How they're supposed to. All right, so. The next step is we're gonna put on our piston, uh, our cylinder head. And how we're gonna do that, we're gonna use this green compressor and we're gonna slide our cylinder head on. And always remember, make sure all of these are lined up. Make sure your dots and your rings are lined up with those dots. Make sure they're hugging, hugging the dots. All right, got that lined up. We got a piston here. Get that lined up right here. All right, boom, that's on that one. So let's make sure our second ring is lined up where it needs to be. Oh yeah, it's good. Ring compressor, all right. I like a little wing ring compressor. 
Let me get this out of the way. Move our clip out of the way of our holder. Yeah, let's press that all the way down. Boom. Just like that. And now we just got to put our screws back in the cylinder head. And it's on there. Let's just reassemble everything. Let's get it. A lot of people don't like using drills and stuff to reassemble things. And it doesn't bother me too much. I don't, I usually, you know, drill to a certain point or screw down with a certain point. And then I'll come back with the hand tool and do the, the final tightening. So we got all the screws in, this bad boy's in here. So now we're just gonna reassemble, put our coil on, put our intake back on, put our muffler back on, and we're gonna reattach it to the weed trimmer, and let's get it.